Um, let's see. Yeah, I um, I think acting is my destiny. Um, I can remember um, back in the school days uh, when I was in, in high school, um, I participated in a play called The Wiz, in which it's a Broadway show now, and I think the original play, uh, The Wiz, it was a lot better than we did at school. Um, but in terms of my acting career, I think acting is my destiny. Um, you know, and, and I, I go far as to say because I'm not in it for the fame, the glory, and the money. I mean, I'm, I'm in it because I enjoy it. I, I literally enjoy going on set. Um, I, I, I think I have picked up a significant craft and I have uh, embraced it. And nevertheless, um, after the passing of my mother in 2012, that's when I first relocated to Los Angeles. and. Um, it's just so ironic that uh, I didn't come here to become an actor. Um, I guess meeting uh, my best friend Stefan Sola from the movie The Midnight Warriors and Speak of the Devil, uh, just to be a part of his production, uh, Shelter Life production, uh, that kind of gave me some inspiration to try to pursue something that, that was more entertaining outside of, uh, of, a, of a healthcare career that I was had been into for that time for like 20 plus years over two decades um, and then I went I went as far as uh, uh, I guess let's see I went as far as trying to get into theater um, I, I connected with another individual um, her production was the uh, the year of the diamond and uh, we were working on set at that you know doing that production I was I was appointed to become the uh, EP of that production uh, to be a part of it and just so ironic during that time I met uh, another friend of mine which I consider a very very good friend of mine now uh, Miss Tamika Coney uh, she's the uh, director and writer of a movie called The Truth and uh, just last year uh, we took that movie to the stage and uh, Tamika and uh, her brother Limo uh, they developed me into theatrical and in, 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 into uh, performing art and um, I was privileged to be able to perform in the play among um, a group of other great entertainers and cast members uh, and the musical hit stage play uh, called The Truth. Um, at that time I, I, um, I participated in that play that, that helped me really just really find my craft. I mean really, literally I knew I had skills in acting uh, given that opportunity to perform live on stage among in front of hundreds of people and and you know I embraced that with all my heart because you know when I what I was able to to comprehend and define between the two entertainments I mean for us being on set in movies and being on set on stage performing live uh, where you don't have opportunity to, to mess up, you don't have room to mess up, meaning that when you just when you just go through the when you go through the course of the play and uh, and you perform live and you don't mess up, uh, that comes that come with um, developing some form of skills, and that's what Tamika and Limo Coney helped me do. They helped me find my character, my character on stage. Uh, and I was able to deliver and that what was so important to me now I'm very privileged to these guys because had I had I not found the character in me my my scene wouldn't have been as successful as it was and I'm very very grateful for that but uh, in terms of, of, of movies yeah um, like I said I, I once again I just think acting is my destiny and and once again I'm, I'm not trying to stand here and say that I'm a Will Smith, a Denzel Washington, a Wesley Snipes, or, or Brad Pitt, or any of the big time celebrity, because I'm not a celebrity. And, and, and let's not get this wrong. I mean, uh, I'm on the low end of the totem pole here, you know? I mean, I'm background acting, and and uh, I, I, I just been featured in, 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 in a musical stage play. But I have a resume uh, right now with over 25, 30 Hollywood feature films and uh, Lifetime movies and sci-fi movies and um, BET 
uh, uh, appearance and you know some of the things that really make me feel good about to about where I am right now as far as a entertainer uh, actor and um, I'm glad to say and I'm glad and I'm proud to announce that now that I have developed this craft and I'm taking it so serious and I have met a lot of people I mean directors, executive directors. I mean, I had a, a, a conversation with Angela Bassett because I was I was um, I appeared on her set in the uh, Whitney Houston story. Um, I have Stefan Sola. He's a very very good actor, an old actor from the movie The Midnight Warriors and Speak of the Devil. I mean, I'm in relationship with with actor Casey Lee from the uh, from the movie White Chicks, uh, NYPD Blue. Um, NIC Miami, something like that. Um, low down, dirty shame. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm making some significant connections right now, and, uh, and and I just give all praise and honor to God. You know, God put me in a, in a spot where I'm able to now um, start my own production, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm geared toward the inspiration of what I learned from Tamika uh, in the musical hit stage play, The Truth, and where I have taken some portion out of my book Surviving Tough Time and now I'm developing this into a musical hit stage play called Surviving Tough Times. So yeah, um, I'm very, very, very privileged to be in a position where I am right now uh, as a character, Dr. RJ, which I am really molding this character because um, it's me. I mean, as a tw two decade and a half year healthcare provider, um, I, I think I worked hard. I paid my dues, and now, uh, right now, I'm, I'm at another stage in my life right now, where, where I'm just trying to relax and enjoy life to the fullest right now, without any complaints, uh, any any adversity. Uh, just trying to stay quick, squeaky clean. Just keep my nose clean. Stay stay out of trouble. Uh, but embrace the craft that I have developed. And you know, when you have a when when you take control over your your craft then you can see some significant things happening in, in, in your life. And, and once again, I'm looking forward to working on the movie set for the 2016. I know my first upcoming film that I will appear on set with will be the, the uh, Jason, Matt Damon, the Jason Bourne movie uh, with uh, Tommy Lee Jones and uh, Matt Bourne. And Damon, I'm sorry, uh, Matt Damon and, and Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, it's gonna be on January 21st, 2016. So that'd be my first appearance on a movie set for 2016. So yeah, and I'm gonna be moving forward with my own production, the RJ uh, Entertainment and Production. Uh, I think my first play gonna be in June, uh, hopefully around the Father Day weekend, but we'll see how that pan out. Thank you for listening to me, and um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, acting is my destiny and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to explain to you how I got here and the road that I took to make it to Hollywood. Have a very blessed day.